Howdy doody everybody, my name is Kev Gooey and welcome to Detention. Detention is a atmospheric horror game set in 1960s Taiwan under martial law. Incorporated religious elements based in Taiwanese Chinese culture and mythology. The game provided players with unique graphics and gaming experience. Hmm. So this caught my attention because this is set in 1960s Taiwan and I am Taiwanese. And this is also a horror game and I haven't played a, a horror game in a while. Well, I mean a horror game as in like a series horror game. And I'm excited to play this and I think this is also a point and click adventure. More or less, I think. But anyways, we're gonna get right in. Ooh. Class, the following. Pay attention, this will be on the final exam. During this time period, many provincial military leaders. Is that me? The president then started the northern expedition securing. I just passed out right in front of the teacher. Look, it's instructed by. Miss Yin, may I have a word with you? Okay, class, that's. Oh, it's so fast. Miss Yin. Have you seen this list before? List? For what? Did no one really like wake me up? Like, seriously, come on. Um, did I fall asleep? This is strange. Where is everybody? How come nobody's here? Oh, no one woke me up. A typhoon alert. There shouldn't be any typhoons this time of year. What's going on? Really? Freaking typhoon alert in school? No one woke me up? Are you serious? Oh, what's that? Um. Oh, that's not what I wanted. Is there a button to check that? I don't know. So yeah, this is a point and click adventure game. As you guys can see the mouse. Like I can't move with the WAS key or arrow keys or anything. Typhoon alert. I thought the weather was quite nice during history class. Yeah, it was. This is my seat. The chairs are pretty uncomfortable, but I'm used to it now. Well, I mean, it is a freaking square, like, chair. So, yeah. Um, I went to Taiwan a long time ago. And it was so much fun. I love Taiwan so much. And I have friends there, and they tell me all the time there's a lot of typhoons. There's a note on the table. Add the journal. Where did Miss Yin go? Where did Miss Yin go? Whoever was passing this note in class was worried about Miss Yin. Ms. Yen keeps calling in sick lately. That's weird, no kidding. Man, I hate those other subs they send in. Huh. I can't read Chinese, so don't ask me what that says. Ooh, Anthem. Our school Anthem, it actually has a decent melody. The lyrics, however, feel like another one of those propagandas promoting patriotism. I, I don't know what that says. School motto and rules. The first thing in orientation was to memorize the school motto and rules. All that be honest, be brave, be loyal, be frugal stuffs, and making you sure you know it was Principal Mr. Shen who established these foundations for us. Oh. Okay. I'll put it in my notebook. Oh, do I have to actually just like scroll? Oh, okay. I was like, how do I get this back up? Alright. It's getting dark out. I should head home. Nah, no kidding. Hmm. 
It's a bulletin board. The holidays are the only thing I pay attention to. Marked on the calendar are the daily and weekly quizzes, midterm exams, final exams. Reading this is giving me a headache. Well, I mean, reading, yeah. Usually reading that's like, oh, so many exams. Oh, dang it. All right, let's go outside. Ooh, I can run now. I have a little, like, a jogging thing. Girls' restroom. I shouldn't be going in there. Well, I, I guess not. I don't have to use the restroom. I accidentally went to the girls' restroom once. In school. In a high school. Oh no, was it high school? No, no, it was middle school. It was middle school, not high school. But yes, I had the worst runs in the world. Oh my gosh, I, I had to go. I did, I was, I thought this was the boys' room by, by, um, you know. Also, a piece of paper lies in the windowsill. A journal sketch of the old Bayan tree, Banyan tree. An old sketch of what looks like the Banyan tree in the school. There seems to be a figure underneath. Oh, is that an officer? But yeah, I really had to go. I thought it was the boys, boys room. And I just like, I just, I dashed in there. Didn't look for any urinals or whatever. Thankfully, there were no girls in there. Thankfully. And then I just, I just, oh, I was so relieved. I relieved myself and I was so happy. And then I washed my hands and then I started noticing. Huh. Huh. This, uh, this bathroom does, is, is very, um, very pretty. Very colorful. Pretty. I was say the door is locked. And then, and then I, I just quickly washed my hands and left the room. Good thing, um, good thing it was like break period or something. And no one was really in the hallway or class started or something. I don't know. I don't remember. And then I was like, Oh, this is, uh, this is the girls' room. Good thing no one saw me leave this, this bathroom. I don't know where I'm going. Where am I going again? What's my objective? The principal's office is also locked. Great. Don't know what's been planted, but they've all died out. Except for this one right here. Time for growing daffodils. Only one of them still hanging in there. There's something in the dirt. Dig it out? Sure. An old photograph. An old photograph. Can't doubt who's in the picture. There's a quote written on it. The roots below the earth claim no rewards for making the branches fruitful. Oh, wow. That's... That's an awesome quote. Because that is true. Because the, because the uh, roots pretty much don't really claim any sort of reward for doing its thing. Making the tree grow. I mean, it is part of the tree. This. I think this is the control panel for the roll-up door. Open it. Sure. Heck. Mechanical winch. There are instructions on the cover. Don't tell me that, you know, the the uh, winch is gone. I need to find a hand crank. Oh man, I was right. Oh, ah, what's that? Oh, oh. The body? Oh. It's... Oh, it's just a... This is one dirty raincoat. That's a raincoat. Jeez, I thought it was a body or something. That must that musty smell is horrifying. Alright, we got the this hand crank. Yay! What does it say? Diamond Sutra? Is, is it is it related to the Kama Sutra? Why would someone put this on the wall? I'm not familiar with Buddhist teachings. Oh, 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 no, it's not, nothing related to the Kama Sutra. A kerosene heater we used the last winter, huddling around it and having a good time. Is that cold? Oh man, the atmosphere. I love horror games with an atmosphere. It's not just like, spooky jump scare, but the atmosphere gets you and makes you paranoid. Oh, I love that. Oh, drag item from inventory to interact with objects. 
Hello? All right. Ooh. We're escaping. We're going home. Woo. Finally going home. Do, 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 do. Oh. Wait, I thought... What? I thought we were going home. The shortest route back home is through the auditorium. Enter? Sure. Why not? Uh, is is that is that Ms. Yen? Ms. Yen? Oh, that's just me. I was like, what the heck is that mechanical noise? Ms. Yen? Let's see what this says. A full-length mirror makes me want to double-check if my shirt's tucked in. Really? That's what you're, you're worried about? Getting your shirt tucked in? There, there's someone on the... On the, uh... Stage. Is he in? Hello? Wake up! You shouldn't be here! Yeah, I mean, I, I mean, I'm pretty sure she shouldn't be here on the freaking top of the, uh, you know, freaking top of the <laughs> stage alone. Um, oh, you're not Ms. Yin. Uh, where am I? The auditorium, you're sleeping on the stage. Huh? Oh, it's canceled because the typhoon is coming. Oh, my name's Wei. Typhoon? I just came from my classroom. You're the first person I've come across. Because everybody else abandoned me. For some reason. Weird. How did I... We should get going. It's getting dark in here. And the rain is starting to pour. Uh... Wait. Wait? My necklace is gone. Oh my gosh. Are we gonna look for your necklace? What? Have you seen my necklace? I don't think so. Ow, I must have lost it somewhere. Uh, how, how did you lose your necklace? I'm not leaving without it. Really? This is a typhoon. This is a typhoon. You need help finding it? Um... Would it be too much trouble? Well, we'll certainly find it fast if we look together. Uh, thank you then. What kind of necklace are you looking for? A deer shaped jade pendant tied to a black cord. Oh. Ah, jade. Jade for good luck. Let's split up and search for it then. Thanks, that means a lot. Alright. I know this word. This word is. Uh, run. It's a uh, human. Person. Person. A human. Person. Why would I fall asleep here? I don't know. Huh. That girl seems anxious about losing her necklace. I don't think it's a good idea to leave her here. Maybe I should help? She's, she walks like a zombie. Yeah, very creepy zombie. Oh, whoops. Some, odd, some odds and ends in an old military jacket. Nothing special here. You going here then? You know, that was the uh, exit. What was this? Oh, right there. Something's in there. Yeah. Is that it? But I can't reach it. Are you serious? You can't reach it. It's literally right there. You can just stick your hand through it. Go, uh, and then, and then you got it. Really? All right, fine. Um, black posing class signs. This stuff is used during our school assemblies. Okay. 
Oh, can we use this umbrella? There's an umbrella. There's an umbrella in the bucket. Take the umbrella? Yes! Item received. Broken umbrella. Mmm. <gasps> the sound. The dun 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 dun. Dun 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 dun. That sound. Oh. Oh, I just realized what that sound was from. Oh, it's from a corpse party. It's from corpse party. When you when you get an item that says dun 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 or, or get something, right? Oh my gosh, that it has to be because that's what that's what it reminded me of. Oh man, nothing here. All right, can we can we use this here? Oh my gosh, we could have just stuck our hand in there. Really? Item received. White jade deer pendant. Ooh. Where'd she go? Hello? Okay, there she is. Hello? Found this. Is this the necklace? You found it. That's awesome. Thank you. Oh, she's actually wearing it. That's cool. Where did you find it? In the storage room next to the stage. It seems like someone threw it into a vent in there. What? Why would it be in such a place? I don't know. Uh, well, forget it. You found it anyways. Let's get going before the rain gets heavy. Sure. Alright, we made a new friend. Wait, what's her name? Thank you for finding my necklace. Let's head back home. What was her name? Did she say her name? I don't remember. Are you coming or not? Alright, you know what? We're just gonna leave. Oh, she's there. Glad you woke me up or else I might have had to spend the night in school. Where'd you get going? Well, I mean, why why were you sleeping in on the stage? I don't I don't even know. Oh, what's this? Too dangerous to stay here. Uh, something likes to go. This rock's been sitting here for quite some time now. He was a fell from a small temple on the mountain. Oh. Okay. So. Okay. Hmm. The security office by the main gate. I guess even the guard left for home. Here is the campus exit. Oh. It's a security office by the main gate. I guess even the guard left for home. Oh, wait. Uh, it's the same thing. I was looking at the uh, sign. Uh, that... That kind of looks like a... It looks like a cross at first. What? What? The bridge collapsed. What? The what? The bridge collapsed? No freaking way! What the? Oh God. Uh, I'm pretty sure the river running uh, with blood there is uh, not a good sign. Whoa, why is the river red? This looks like, it kind of looks like blood. Blood. Don't say that. Well, what else does it look like, girl? Oh, she didn't even tell us her name. Yeah, what does it look like, huh? Sorry, I wasn't thinking. What do you mean you weren't th You're freaking saying the obvious. I would have said it too. What happened? Uh. Okay, let's calm down. Think about it. There's got to be a reasonable explanation why the river is blood. Hmm... Why is it red? Even muddy water shouldn't be this color. Hmm. It's blood water. Ah. I think I know the cause of this. There are a few factories located upstream. It's probably them dumping chemical waste into the river under cover of the typhoon. Pretty sure it wouldn't just make it red. Are you sure? I've heard people talking about it. Perhaps you're right. Yeah. That, that makes more reasonable sense than, you know, blood. The worst part is we don't have a way to go downhill now with the bridge gone. Tons of people cross this bridge every day. This bridge should have been better maintained. 
Yeah, if only it wasn't made of wood. Guess we have to head back to school. It won't do us any good standing here in the middle of the rain. True. Don't worry, it's just a typhoon. The school has enough supplies for us to get through the storm. Alright, if nothing's locked. Alright. I guess I can trust you. You seem like a reliable person. So, you didn't trust me at first, but you followed me. Trying to be optimistic. Let's get going then. Oh, I don't get to control it. Uh, all wet and tired. What a day. Just rest up for now. We may have to spend the night here. Oh, wait. I haven't officially thanked you for finding my necklace for me. I'm Fang Ray Shin, a senior from Ms. Yin's class. You can call me Ray. Oh. Fang Ray Shin. Or, I think it's pronounced Fang. Fang Ray? Ray Shin. Fang Ray Shin. I don't know. Anyways, how about you? What grade are you in? So you're my senior. Miss Fang, I'm Wei Chung Ting. You don't have to be formal with me. It's a bit awkward. Just Ray is fine. Normally, we don't go to the senior building. I heard that it's a very competitive environment where everyone works their butt off studying. Oh no! Ah, uh, it's not that awful. Some of us still do what we want. I do envy you for graduating. Soon you won't have to see Guo Fong on a daily basis anymore. Who? Oh? Instructor Bai. I don't even dare call him by his whole name. Rumor says he was a relentless killer during the war. Ah! Great. Great. I wouldn't dare do that in front of him either. We're all pretty terrified of him. We avoid him any possible way we can. Ahem. Hey, you! Come here! Why are you hiding from me? Are you affiliated with the commies? No! Whoa, that was a perfect imitation. Giving me goosebumps. Ah, uh, anyways, just hang on tight, buddy. It'll be your turn to graduate next year. Ah, uh, life's a struggle. Hey, I don't know what we... I know what we can do. Let me go use that phone in the principal office. See if I can contact anybody. Wait, wasn't it locked? Then I'll grab that heater in the storage room and a couple blankets from health center. That should be enough for us to get through the night. That's a well thought out plan. Do you need any help? I'll be fine on my own. You should rest up here, missus. The man's got it under control. Oh, this is 1960s. Hold on there now. Don't take me as one of those spoiled pamper girls. I'm probably more capable than most of you boys. Ah. Uh, sorry, that came out the wrong way. It's okay. You don't have to apologize. I know you were just trying to help. Okay, how about this? I'll go make the phone call, then we can find what we need together and carry them back. Alright, that sounds good. I'll wait for you right here. Just hurry back, it's getting real dark in here. I mean, it's... It's freaking nighttime already. Hmm. Well, I'm gonna end the episode here, everybody. Oh man, what an episode to get right into. First, we fall asleep. Second, everyone's just gone. Typhoon hits. Uh, river of blood. Hmm, we found a girl. Uh, yeah. I don't know. Like, this is getting really weird. Really weird. But I'm excited. I want to find out more. Oh, I'm so excited. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Detention. If you guys did, then please slime that like button and subscribe down below for more awesome videos. You guys can also check out this game for yourself. The link is down below in the descriptions. So thank you everybody for watching this episode again. Now see you guys in the next one. Bye!